If you clicked on this video, that means one thing. You're exactly like me and your air flares look something like this. I didn't have the power! Unfortunately, that really is me and my air flares do look like that, which means I have some work to do. So if you wanna put on some work with me, let's go learn from a professional. What up, y'all? It's B Boy Tricky, Now or Never Crew, Northwest Players, representing Vancouver, BC, Canada. And today we're gonna learn how to air flare the easy way. Okay, so these are the three prerequisites that we're gonna do for basics before we do air flare. Let's go. So we're gonna go over the first step after the basics, after the prereqs. So what we're gonna do is right when I go into it, I'm gonna replace this foot with my hand. What I'm gonna do is take my time to wait so this leg comes back. We're gonna go from the monkey swing into the swipe, and we're gonna continue our leg just a little bit. What I'm gonna try to do is to bring my leg all the way down and pass through and I'm gonna to try to keep on that last arm as much as possible. Okay, so the next one we're gonna do, I'm gonna to try to get my leg to pass all the way through and to continue, so I'm up on one hand. So I'm going from my left to my right. So one important thing I wanna emphasize is that the longer you wait, so let that leg pass and keep that arm, stay on it, the faster you'll be able to drop when you catch into your air flare. Most people are gonna try to kick and they're gonna try to go the full 360 all the way around. So if you look at it, when I'm passing here first and getting into this position, which is the Nike with my legs up, I'm gonna be able to take my hand and drop. You notice that's basically only a half circle. Most people, when they're gonna do it, they're gonna go here, and they're gonna try to continue from here. Your arm has too much to go, too much room to go all the way around, and what happens then is your hips drop. You wanna make sure your hips are staying up. That last part, when I'm here, my hips, when I take off from that push from the last hand, my hips are gonna shoot up, which is gonna give me that boost what you really want in your air flare. Okay, from there, what we're gonna wanna do is how we catch is very important. So what I try to do is think of, when I start my monkey swing, I'm trying to land in that exact position. So this is where the swipe definitely comes into play. How you put your arm in front of your chest or your head. There's different ways to do it. For myself, the easy way is I like to go hand like this, like a bridge, and I'm gonna take it over, rather than passing it just like a swipe or lower, which is here. So if you notice, when you start lower and your arm passes this way, you have a lot more room to travel. If you wait here and go above your head, it lands a lot quicker, which is really important for the timing when you land into the air flare. I'm gonna really try to go in front of my face rather than going in front of my chest. So the last part I'm gonna focus on is the catch, which is really tough for most people. How you're gonna catch, how you're gonna stay elevated, keep your hips up, and go into the next one. So from here, when I'm going traveling to my catch in the air flare, my body's gonna be spread out. The more I keep my head towards that shoulder when I'm about to land, the more stable I'm gonna be. Also, I'm gonna keep my legs tight close to my body, so it's gonna be easier for me to stay up. If your legs are open like this, you're gonna be hitting the ground faster and you're not gonna be able to stay up. So when you catch here, 
head to the shoulder, hips up. That way when you're catching and you're landing, this leg can, can keep continuing without just stopping on the ground. So the pike is a very important factor of air flare, which is keeping your knees close to your chest. The better you do that, it's gonna keep your hips up and elevated. You're gonna be able to continue a lot easier. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these three steps together, which is a good training method to help you start getting into your air flare. So one tip that I found after training it for quite a while is how I'm kicking the ground. So one tip is I like to use a shirt, a toque, a hat, or anything to put in the position, in the place which I want to kick. So for me, I notice it's the easiest to put it about a foot right in front of my right foot. That way when I go into it, I can see it. I'm going to aim to hit it before I take off to fly. Okay, so I moved the grass now, as you can see. There's one big thing is we're gonna take off, and instead of catching, I'm just gonna practice really kicking and aiming to shoot up. So it's okay if you fall to your butt, that's okay. Just like that, okay? At least that way, I'm doing it the correct way first before I'm trying to catch. So the reason why we do this, we go to our butt first, it's gonna help you learn the pop, which is gonna raise you up, which is the main key when you air flare. So ladies and gentlemen, this is what happens when you don't pop. Air flare master. So what happens then, if you notice, instead of popping, he's dropping. <laughs> pop, don't drop. So I'm gonna make sure when I go into that kick, I'm gonna try to have my hips low and they're gonna raise up into that pop. Oh, that was not bad. <laughs> so once you have a pretty good kick and you're aiming to get to your butt, you're gonna go to the next position, which is gonna be the pike and the catch. So the way that I do this, once I'm about here, I'm gonna bring my knee as close as I can to my chest, head to the shoulder, stay up. So again, I'm landing here with this catch, bringing this in, head down. If you notice that way, my leg is gonna pass rather than when you're too far out, it's gonna drag and get stuck. So the tighter you bring it in, you're gonna be able to clear that space. So now I'm gonna aim after landing on my butt just to be popping up and focusing on that catch. If you notice, my hand, my leg, is at the same time that they landed. So from the boost, we really wanna focus on shooting up and really bring that arm nice and fast to that catch. So you wanna have our hips stay up and our head stay down to the ground. So from that part, we're gonna to try to skip going off of our butt to landing on our catch arm. I'm gonna do just one, do my best to catch, stay up. I think that was a bit too high. Try again. Better. Now I'm gonna to try to keep my head towards my shoulder, knees to my chest. See if I can stay up. There. So definitely a big tip for me is learning how to invert or Nike on both sides. So for me, 
my catch hand is my Nike. But when I take off, I don't have that same turn. So I'm really gonna practice one way, two way. Also, doing a one hand balance really helps, especially if that's gonna be your catch arm. But it can also help you for your takeoff arm as well. Also, it doesn't hurt to have a couple hand hops. So you wanna make sure you have each of these steps. Also, it's really important when you're focusing on the catch, when you're kicking in your air flare, you're gonna be doing a 180. So two air flares is gonna make you do a complete circle. This is the difference between doing it properly and level, and also, which will keep you staying in the same spot compared to staying up high and traveling in a large circle, which is gonna be a lot harder to do in a tight cipher or a tight space. So now we're gonna put the five steps together. So we're gonna to try to do monkey swing first, then we're gonna be landing into the swipe. From the swipe, we're gonna be passing all the way through. Fourth one, we're gonna be focusing on shooting up and landing to our butt. Fifth part is gonna be catching and staying up. Give it a big shout out to B boys and girls that's representing the ciphers all across the world. I want to give a shout out to all the real DJs that still spin vinyl, don't hit the replay. To all the graph writers, stay true to your art, because every time you leave your mark, it comes straight from your heart. And to all the real MCs that still rock a mic tight like me. It's not what you do, it's about how you do it. Stay true to the music and you'll never be excluded. Hip hop, one love, B boy, tricky now and never crew, Northwest players, the funk is thick. Yeah. Woo! All right, y'all. Big shout out to everybody watching. Thank you guys so much. Big shout out to all the B-Boys worldwide. Much love. Aim for the sky. Let's fly, y'all. Woo! Thanks so much for watching, everybody. If you want more content, go over to Northwest Players YouTube channel. Yeah. yeah. Northwest Players. Whoop!